guys and welcome back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial i will be showing this uh, i will be showing how to make this beautiful propeller or you guys can see a compressor turbine compressor in fusion 360 basically all the dimension has been assumed so nothing is a standard this is just to show you guys the concept of how to make these blades so we will start by making a circle on the up uh, bottom plane press c for circle and right from origin draw a circle of 78 mm let's say make it 76 of dia 76 and finish this sketch now extrude this up to a distance of 10 mm and click on new component and press ok now again go to sketch on top face again draw a circle of 18 mm and finish the sketch and again go to extrude and extrude this up to a distance of 30 mm and press enter now go to create go to coil I'm sorry go to create go to coil and it will ask you about the face to so select this face and it will ask you about the origin and draw a circle of up to a distance of 76 as you guys can see here 76 here now click on the type as height and pitch now the dia is 76 the height uh, let me just check the height needs to be 30 mm the height needs to be the 30 mm we, we will be making a coil from this face to the topmost face the angle we want is uh, slightly tapered so negative 10 will do the job now the section will be center and the section size would be uh, just remove this and make it 2 mm and again the pitch would be 250 mm now as you guys can see we have a very small profile here and the operation would be new body and you may click ok now once done I'm what I'm going to do is go to create click on any face you want switch to isometric view while remain in the sketch workspace go to create go to project include and click on include 3d geometry and select this of body and finish the sketch now you can hide this body as we don't need we have got we got our sketch here now again go to create a sketch on on the top very plane what i'm going to do is press l for line and i'm going to draw a line from this point to this point and make this as a construction one and you may finish the sketch so we what we got here is a point all we need is a point here now again go to create a sketch this time on this face and now go to create go to point and also on the circumference of this circle draw a point here so if you just move it it will rotate all across its circumference now press D for dimension from the first point that we have created to the second point give the vertical dimension as 3mm and press enter and finish the sketch now again go to create a sketch go to any plane you want and revolve your sketch and go to create go to project include include 3d geometry and select this line why we are doing this because earlier this got this circle also so to delete that circle we are extracting this line and we may finish the sketch now go to sketch and just hide these the the previous intersection that we have created now once done what i'm going to do is again go to create go to any plane you want and switch to isometric view while remaining in the uh, workspace now let me just press shift and n and yeah here so we have a line here and a point here and here now what I'm going to do is click on 3d sketch press line and from the second point join this point and from this point to this point a line and a line from this point to this point just delete this line as we need to draw this line from this point to this point once created finish the sketch go to surface go to patch select on this line and this line as you guys can see the curve is closed so this is going to be a new body and press ok now I am going to create go to thickness select this face 
select the direction as symmetric this is going to be joining and the thickness is 0.5 mm and press ok now once done just hide all the previous sketch that we have created now go to solid click on extrude on the bottom uh, click on the sketch on the bottom plane and switch off the 3d sketch mode go to bottom and press C for circle and draw a circle of dia 80 mm and finish the sketch go to extrude and extrude this uh, profile as a join command up to a distance of 10 mm like this or you can increase it just select this one also and you can increase it up to a distance of minus 12 and press ok now once done what I'm going to do is again go to create a sketch on this point circle from the bottom draw a circle of 20 mm like this and finish the sketch again go to extrude this point this point and extrude it downwards up to a distance of minus 30 and press ok and you can also just increase it to the second direction also the second distance would be let's say 1 mm make it reverse and press ok now once done what I'm going to do is go to fillet select this edge here and the radius uh, give the radius here as uh, select the radius as constant and the radius needs to be 8 mm so just delete the 5 mm and give it the radius of 8 mm and press ok now once done what I'm going to do is go to create go to pattern go to circular pattern go to the pattern type as features and the first features would be the thickness command and the second is the radius here and the axis is going to be this circle and the rotation type would be fix or uh, full the quantity is let me see quantity is 15 the compute time would be adjusted and press ok and wait for your system to respond so this will take some seconds depending upon the performance of your system as you guys can see my laptop is uh, quite uh, old so it gets uh, always it got gets hanged whenever doing complex jobs so uh, this is how the turbine will look the only thing is left is to make the keyhole at top of it so press C for circle I'm not going to make any dimension for that just going to show you how to make a, a, a hole here like this and go to extrude select all these three and extrude cut it right in right into it and this is how uh, your uh, uh, the keyhole will look like so all the things has been done so this is how you guys can always give the fillet here so this is how uh, this is the basic concept on how to make this turbine a blade or propeller whatever you can say i don't know exact wording of this so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you and have a nice day